Hey, what's up, everyone? I have never heard of these people, ever. They are a group of individuals mostly comprised of Asians, from what I see. They claim to be lovers of Mr. T, you know who I'm talking about, and they claim to be about, like, God and, and, and guns, and they claim to be about the Lord, the, the, the Iron Kingdom. I've never heard of this in my life. They have built a God's Kingdom, as they call it. They're building... It, there's something odd about it. I've never in my life seen any of this. I've never seen these people. I've never seen this group. Ever. And they claim they the Rod of Iron Church has built uh, is has bought a property in Tennessee in the mountains for a spiritual retreat, a training center, and now they're they're somehow or other relating it to Mr. T and that Capitol Hill event that happened on January sixth. And they claim to be building a holy ground for for its devouted gun-toting followers. Now, I don't know, where did this come from? They've been talked about since 2017, and I've never heard of it in my life. Fire and water, rod of iron anointing. Their anointment comes from shooting the bullets into the water. Hallelujah, praise God, thank you Jesus, thank you Father, God is great, freedom is not free. They claim to be fighting for America. They said that the, their, their infamous spiritual retreat, originally they said they're planning to recreate the Unification Church's infamous spiritual retreat in, uh, in Qian, in Qian Paiyang, Pai, in Qian Paiyang Yang which is located 27 miles outside of Seoul, South Korea. That's what they claim. They said they immediately felt the Chian Pai Yang Yang when they were in that property. They went to this vicinity in Tennessee and felt the energy of Pai Yang Yang. Chian Pai Yang Yang, which I've heard of that from North Korea when they talked about their weapons, but... As the spiritual download was happening, they said we could feel the presence of Chian Paiyang Yang. We just knew that of all the Tennessee lands that we've seen, this is the one that we must get to reclaim and have as a spiritual retreat. So, I've never heard of this group. Where the heck did this come from? Has it been a thing throughout all this time? Has it been a has it been a thing all this time in the world around us and we just haven't seen it or paid any attention to it or, or what? Each year, tens of thousands, tens of thousands of members make the pilgrimage to Chiang Pai Yang Yang where they shell out huge amounts of cash. Aha. There it goes. Cash cult. And they sub... Maybe not. I don't know. And they submit to beatings with the goal of exercising evil spirits also known as Ancestor Liberation. Okay. Ancestor Liberation was done through a process called Anzu. This is something I had never heard of in my entire life. I had never heard of these group of Asian people, Asian individuals, creating almost what appears to be a cult. Now moving it into the, 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 the into hundred and some odd acres in, in Tennessee. It's just, I've never heard of these individuals, ever. They claim that they love Mr. T. They claim they love freedom. They claim they support, uh, what, you know, the... I don't, I don't believe, I really don't believe that this is what... I don't, I don't know, I'm sorry. Maybe they, I, I don't know. I just, they claim they're using freedom and protection and a certain movement as some sort of... They said they have an area where children 
They have, they're building schools. They're going to build uh, campgrounds. They said male and females are not allowed to be together in, you know, in the same camp. But they said they are going to have basically indoctrination. I've never seen this. Not once in my life have I ever seen this. And they have like gladiator style stuff there. Resist the devil. Guns of gold. It it doesn't. And bullet crowns made of bullets. Harley Davidson motorcycles. It, it's just. I don't know. Where where did this come from? Why are they wearing crowns? Where on earth did this come from? Golden guns, crowns of bullets. The crown thing seems more like a, a mockery. I don't remember this at the, the Freedom Festival. I don't remember this. They had the Freedom Festival October 11th of last year. I don't remember that. The Rod of Iron Kingdom, Haiyang Jin Shan Moon, and his son, son something, I forgot. Yeah, these are the individuals, mostly Asians. I guess that's their church ceremony, mixing Christ believing in with with this. Why haven't I already seen this? I mean, why is it just made news now that they're building an entire huge facility that they bought for $466,000 in the state of Tennessee. Just look up the Rod of Iron Ministries. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So apparently I guess they pay good money to go all the way over to Xi'an Pyongyang, South Korea to have the devil beat out of them literally to have the evil of their ancestors and the evil spirits tortured out of them basically they claim it's about love God love your neighbors of course that'll probably be the background they choose I mean it's just unorthodox but you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 27. Well, yes, obviously. I've just never seen this group. They say it's growing. This was news from years ago. I don't remember it. Now they, they claim they're oh gun worshipping. They said oh MAGA group. That's what they associate it with. The Rod of Iron. The Rod of Iron Ministries. Freedom Festival. I've seen the Freedom Festival. I'd never... What? What? I saw a lot of Antifa groups. But... I had never seen... Now they're showing these individuals. This looks like it was just cropped in. I saw a lot of Antifa people at the Capitol Hill event. A lot of Antifa individuals. But I did not see all of this. 
I, this just, it looks like this was just, it looks like this has just been added in to reality. It looks like it's just been added in to reality. Alright, so what are your thoughts on this? Honestly, I don't know what to think. And so apparently they are buying a 130 acre holy retreat in Tennessee. Where they are known for their AR-15 ceremonies. They're buying and building a training center. So I don't know what to think. I've never heard of this. They claim it's been going on for years, but I've never heard of it. Peace. Signing out.